everybody. Andrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a very exciting video. Where we're going to go ahead and cover the brand new Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack along with the free update uh, 1.17. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about this pack. This has been, uh, from what I've seen, a very requested pack of uh, basically a petting zoo pack, right? We finally get some uh, kind of petting zoo type domestic animals coming to the game. So personally, I'm very excited for this and very excited to uh, jump in and see what uh, Frontier is bringing us with this DLC. And also, if you're very excited for this don't forget to hit the like button if you're excited about the barnyard animal pack also comment down below what animal are you most looking forward to or what new feature are you most looking forward to uh with this update and free uh free update and everything so let's go ahead and jump into uh what frontier have to say about this new pack though so hey oh zookeepers uh experience the rustic charm of the countryside in planet zoo barnyard animal pack arriving april 30th on pc alongside with our free update 1.17 and coming in a future update to Planet Zoo Council Edition. So that is very um, important to note that it is not coming out on Council right away, uh, but it will be a future update uh, for the Council version. Uh, bring rural beauty to your zoos and let your guests get closer than ever to these beloved animals that have lived alongside humans for hundreds of years. The Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack will feature seven highly requested animals alongside over 60 new scenery pieces as well as a brand new scenario. Oh, that's good to hear. That's not just the animals, right? Us builders, we always like to get a few new pieces, even if it's a bunch of new signs and statues. Hey, they're new pieces, right? So, um, first up we have the Sussex Chicken with its curious nature. Beautiful beautiful plumage and energetic demeanor. Uh, from the Scottish Highlands, we have these stunning Highland cattle with its heavy, rich coat, gentle personality, and affectionate nature. Uh, straight from the mountain range, we have the playful, friendly, and adaptable alpine goat, which is renowned for their agility and sure-footedness, as well as the South American alpaca with its distinctive slender neck, elegant posture, and gentle, intelligent nature. This pack also introduces the brave and intelligent American standard donkey, uh, the hardy hill radner sheep from the glorious rolling hills of Wales, and the playful Tamworth pig. Uh, these friendly animals uh, may even interact with guests if they are in the mood for attention. Ah, that's neat. So we have some uh, guest interactivity going on. So yeah, out of those, what are you most excited for? I don't know. There's something about the chicken. I'm just, I'm just going to say it now. There's something about the chicken that makes me go, yeah, chicken. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm most excited for that. Uh, next up, we got what better way to experience these animals than by adding a charming and rural feel to your zoos using straw bales as benches for your guests or by placing repurposed cable reel tables for those looking to stop for lunch. This pack also includes several picturesque fences and gates alongside classic cast iron water pumps, wells, wind pumps, weather vanes, and foliage, which will be sure to make any habitat feel more homely. Okay, well, hey, I kind of uh, resend what I said earlier about, you know, just getting a few signs and statues. It sounds like we are getting uh, some actually really neat looking um, items here and some good, uh, probably recolor, flexicolor uh, type things as well. So yeah, very excited about the cast iron water pumps, wells, wind pumps, weather vanes. That's a cool little theme they have going there um when you are ready returning character tiffany summers needs your help as she embarks on a brand new journey to breathe life into a once neglected farm team up with tiffany to create a thriving animal sanctuary take rundown barns and overgrown pastures and make them into not just a safe and comforting environment for the animals but also into a home for them to thrive and flourish amidst the new zealand countryside ah we're in new zealand this time that's fun Alongside the Barnyard Animal Pack, we are also excited to bring the free update 1.17 to all of our PC players. A number of habitats can now be converted into animal encounters, allowing guests to get closer than ever to your animals. Alongside this, we will also be adding a number of free scenery pieces, including the all-important hand-washing station. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, an education board, a small guest gate, and the... Uh, oh, I'm going to mispronounce this... Uh, Budalea, Budalea, Bush. Ah, new Bush. Hype for new Bush. <laughs> um, but yeah, that sounds really interesting with the uh, guests being able to, what would they say, have animal encounters. So I wonder if that's a little bit different than just, you know, walking through the habitat all willy nilly, if that's going to be more so of a, like, um, yeah, like an interaction. So uh, especially with the hand washing stations, that makes me think immediately of like uh, the quarter draw or the coin drawn, like food uh, stations that, you know, go feed the animals out of your hand and everything. They use the cleaning stations to wash your hands afterwards. So maybe we'll get something like that with the new domestic animals. Not too sure, but hey, I always like hearing, you know, about the hand washing station, education board, small guest gate, a new bush. It's all good. <laughs> uh, we'll have more to share on our regularly, uh, regular monthly live stream, Frontier Unlocked. 
uh, coming this Wednesday, the 24th of April at 6 p.m. BST on both of our uh, Twitch and YouTube Frontier channels. Uh, so yeah, be sure to check that out. That is at the time of recording this in two days. It is Monday afternoon at the moment. So the Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack will be available for purchase uh, for $7.99. Uh, there's your prices there. Seven. It's it's the normal prices, like $10 um, American. It's like 8 bucks euro ten dollars i keep saying dollars but you get what it is <laughs> on steam for uh, on the 30th of april if you want to be notified when the dlc is available then head over uh, uh, on over to steam and wishlist it now please remember that you'll be able only be able to get to enjoy the planet zoo barnyard animal pack if you already own the base game of planet zoo for pc i think that's the first time that they put that in in one of these so i wonder if they had a uh, an incident where someone bought a dlc and was like hey why doesn't this work it's like well yeah you need the game to play the add-on to the game so anyways yeah i'm no, very excited for this i think this is a great addition uh to planet zoo and um yeah i'm very very excited to put some domestic animals uh within the zoo and i can already picture this as uh, a lot of these animals not really being in a you know, a habitat, like a, a typical habitat, especially like the chickens or uh, the goats and stuff like that. Maybe the donkey, like you can just kind of see them just wandering about, at least in the zoos that I like to build. Um, you can almost just see them being just normal. There they are animals, right? It's not like it's a whole habitat that you have to go up to. It's just like, oh, there's the, uh, there's the chickens out and about. <laughs> so I think that's going to be uh, very, very fun to, uh, to uh, experiment with and everything. So, um, but yeah, I have seen um, for the community, the little bit that I have seen is that this is kind of a 50, 50 split. I can see where people are a little bit worried with this maybe being the last pack and with that being in mind um basically people are kind of thinking like hey if this is the last pack like this doesn't feel like a last pack like this doesn't feel like a big whoa we're sending out planet zoo in style with like you know a bunch of uh stuff like that so a lot of people are kind of thinking that maybe they've pumped they being frontier have pumped the brakes on this being the last dlc like we were um really really thinking uh there so maybe there is a little bit more life in planet zoo for the year of 2024 um so yeah we'll have to kind of wait and see at least with uh i will give my uh uh, experience with planet coaster um basically planet coaster the last pack it was not announced they didn't announce that they were done with planet coaster um it just kind of dropped and then it was like okay i guess they're done now <laughs> we never heard anything about the game being done so i don't think this feels different than planet coaster because the last planet coaster pack had a lot of scenery items and rides that kind of felt like they had been um lack of a better word like tossed aside every single pack uh basically like oh this scenery piece doesn't really fit in but we have it or oh this ride doesn't really fit into any of the theme packs that we've been releasing the last pack i think it was world's fair pack it was called for planet coaster just kind of felt like a here's everything we have kind of stuff there was just really random scenery pieces there was really random scaling um, there was just kind of, it was just kind of felt like it was like a here's what we have left on the in the floor of the office here's a pack for it um so not saying that planet zoo is going to go through the exact same uh cycle and everything you know i do hope uh, unlike planet coaster that they announce that uh, that it will be the last pack and stuff like that or that they are ending uh you know the dlc cycle for planet zoo but you know we're kind of in a waiting and seeing um as of right now based on past actions uh from frontier so uh again personally i don't think this is the last pack it doesn't feel like a last pack it just kind of feels like a um yeah it just feels like a good pack right <laughs> it just feels like a good pack but nothing that signals like oh we're done um or anything like that so that that you can count me in team i think we have some more you know gas in the uh, fuel tank here for planet zoo what do you think though i'd love to hear your thoughts always love to hear the different corners of the community uh what you're feeling about it i know some people um would love the game to actually be done and that's a lot of the modders and um, people that like to tweak with the game on the outside and uh, whenever there is an update to the game whether it be dlc or free update or anything uh that does kind of mess with some of the modding stuff so i know not everyone is you know that um fussed about modding but that is you know one uh, opinion that i've heard that yeah we would love the uh game to stop being developed so we can kind of uh take it ourselves and then you have the opposite where you know you have people who are like no they can develop this for the next 10 years i don't even care just keep releasing animals <laughs> so you kind of have the two uh the two camps of the two parties so i'd love to hear uh what you personally what you think uh about all of that there so uh but yeah there you go so there's the um announcement for the planet zoo barnyard animal pack uh again coming on april 30th for pc only right now but later on we will get the council edition uh coming out so yep go ahead and sound off in the comments let me know what you're thinking about everything going on and uh yeah hey until the next episode of oh we're not doing an episode this is a news thing 
anyways until the next episode of planet zoo <laughs> yeah thanks so much everyone have a good one